Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Opinion Machine, the show where we talk about all things gaming. My name is Killjoy, and today we're going to be talking about WarioWare Get It Together. Now, I recently bought this and played it and had an absolute blast, and I thought I'd just give some thoughts on it. Um, it's pretty much what you expect in terms of a WarioWare game. I mean, it's, it's nuts, it's bonkers. But it also lets you play the story mode, or like the, the main kind of mode to unlock everything, two player, which is kind of fun. And so uh, I got it uh, Sunday, it's just gone, so we've had it for about four or five days now. And uh, me and Mark, we played through pretty much most of the story, there was some other extra content that you do once the kind of the main story's finished. But we played through most of the story, and the biggest difference with this WarioWare game is the fact that you don't play what's on screen, you use the character you're given to then deal with whatever is on screen. So, for example, if you're playing as Wario, you have a jetpack, you can fly around freely, and when you tap a button, you do his tr traditional shoulder barge or the ram move in a certain direction. So the mini games work when you play as him, you, you have to bash into things. Whereas if you play somebody like 18 Volt, he doesn't move, he just fires his hoops out, which makes him basically like a cannon in the sense that you just keep firing to like do um, to move things around, to activate things, and then these gold rings will appear that you can grab and move around. Now there is a lot of characters in this, they've basically given every character their own moveset, or their own ability, and that then leads to um, making the games feel very different depending on who you're using, and that's really cool. And something that they make, they make sure they try to do is that throughout the game, uh, what will happen is as you're playing, um, to start with, you pick, you get, you can either pick or you automatically get given three different characters. So whenever you go into a certain area, say you enter uh, Nine Volts area or the Nintendo games, then you'll be given him the first time you play it through and then you can pick two other characters or you can be given two other characters. Um, and each area you get, you have to play as one particular character and you play the other and you get each one's theme different. You got Nature Zone, you got food, you got Nintendo classics. And for the most part, I think most of the characters work pretty well, and they add different variety to the game. My biggest problem was with uh, Nine Volt. Actually, I think Nine Volt is it's just not that fun to use. So, like where you have Wario, who has the ability to like free flow, move around the screen, and ram. Uh, you have 18 Volt, like I said, who stays still and just fires. And you have Nine Volt, who's on a skateboard and he can't stop moving, and you can't change direction. So you, you have to wait for him to bounce into things. And then his yo-yo that he has, he chucks up. Well, the problem is, the faster that gets, the more like the timing becomes too precise. Like there's no, there's not much give uh, on that. And the amount of times that I've used him and lost mini games because like I'm trying to hit something, but his the hitbox on the yo-yo is very small. So you have to be really precise with him. And I think he's the hardest character to use. And out of all the characters in the game, I actually think he's the worst one to use. Um, which is unfortunate because, you know, I get that they're going for a, um, you know, like I said, everyone's got a different moveset kind of thing. But, you have so many good characters. You have Wario, you have Jimmy T, you've got Red, who's pretty fun because he drops bombs. Um, you eventually get, I can't remember her name, Dr. Krieger's, like, niece, I think it is. And she has the ability to, like, fly around with a water cannon. Um, there's the bird, I've forgotten his name, he uses his tongue to grab things. Like, they all have unique play styles. Um, when you get Dribble and Spitz and Katanana, uh, you basically, they become the one and two player variants. So one's always firing left, one's always firing right, and they can't stop jumping with Katanana. So like, like, most of them are actually really cool. Like, really fun to use. But the game overall, um, seems to have a fairly decent amount of content. It's, it, it reminds me of the um, the GameCube one, which is also based on the Game Boy Advance one, but old Mega, Mega Party games, whatever it was. Similar sort of thing, you go through the different areas, you, you find the dudes, you do their style of minigame, and then once you finish that, you then unlock All Mixed Up, which is just every minigame in one area. You unlock Super Hard, you unlock One Life Mode, Survival Mode basically. Um, and then once you finish with the story, you unlock a bunch of mini games. And I haven't played all of them, and you'll see that in the footage in the background that I do play a couple of them. But it seems like the one-player mini games or the ones that can be played one player on the top are very bizarre. That they are very much just extended versions of other things. Um, so there's one where you have to bounce a football on your head and, and work together and doing that, or play by yourself. Uh, there was one that uh, has you attacking other players by just 
well, basically attacking them. And you have the health bar, and then there's also one where you have to collect contracts. Now, I haven't played any more of the actual multiplayer stuff uh, outside of that. And you'll see this is the first time I've played these for this video. Uh, but I am planning on doing a multiplayer session with Mark and whoever else wants to play soon. Uh, so that I can test out those modes. Because um, most of the time the multiplayer modes in WarioWare are kind of ridiculous. Uh, back in the GameCube one there's one where you'll have to like do mini games and you stack up on these turtles and things. And that was actually hilarious. There's one where you have to like steal people's uh, cards and things. Like, really, really good. I haven't had a chance to properly try those out. But I can say this. This is exactly what I kind of wanted from a WarioWare game. The micro games themselves, uh, there's not... There's maybe, like, one or two that I, I took me a while to get the hang of. But most of them are pretty good. And some of them are quite... Well, actually, some of them are hilarious. Like, if you're just into, like, that random side of things with WarioWare, it's uh, pretty much like that. The, um... There's the one we have to peel a banana, and the face on the banana at the end of it looks so stupid. But it has that, that randomness that I love about it, where you're just, you don't know what's happening. It just comes up with a word like rock, or it'll be like avoid, and then you just have to figure it out on the fly, and you have like three seconds to do it in and stuff. And uh, I don't think there's any like micro games here that are bad. I think some are a bit more complex. If you don't understand what you're doing, there are definitely a couple of them that I found. I was like, what? And then I finally understood how to do them. But they're so they're so stupid, and I think that's what the appeal is with this as a as a party game. And bear in mind, this is very much a party game. Like once you've done the story side of things, there isn't anything to unlock except for all the micro games, which you can do from just replaying those areas, or you can do it by playing it all mixed up. <clears throat> and there are there are things to unlock in the sense that you can get different color variations for each character. You can you basically have these like ball machines. It's like chickens that lay eggs, and then you just give the stuff the job. You get job points for the characters. You level them up, and you unlock special skins, and you unlock um, different colors, and like an artwork and stuff. Like it is cool. Like I'm glad all that stuff's there. But like bear in mind, if you're gonna get into this game, it is pretty much best to play it with friends and then play as a multiplayer game. Because once you've done pretty much most of the story you have access to everything in the multiplayer as well all the variety pack as it's called and this is the sort this is like this is when you have friends around you basically dig this out for like 20 minutes to half an hour play a, a, a bunch of this have a really good laugh with it and then you move on to something else it's very much that kind of game <clears throat> in the uk here it was only 40 pound so it's more of a i, I don't use budget price because it's not a budget game, it's clearly love and sense put into it, but it is a cheaper price because I think they realise that there isn't as much content there, but if you know, if you've played WarioWare, you know what you're getting with it, you're going to have a good laugh with it, and it's definitely very pick up and play um, and overall I just really like it, I'm not, I don't think it's going to win any awards this isn't like groundbreaking or anything it's just a cool gimmick for this genre uh, game now with the sort of stuff you know and love and the fact that it's a lot more local multiplayer focused uh, with the story as well as the other modes and it, you can play a lot of the games up to four player as well the multiplayer stuff so that's good yeah overall I've, I'm, I've enjoyed my time with it I'm, I'm still like unlocking things and going through that it, the longevity of it might die off in time uh, for me personally but I you know I like WarioWare I like having I have the GameCube one and I have the Wii one and uh, I think these games are great to dig out especially if people have never played them before because it's so fun watching other people play these games you're like here play this game and they're just like what is going on but overall I think WarioWare get it together is a really cool addition I, I'm this year for, for Nintendo is kind of crazy because to get like this and we'll be getting Metroid Advance Wars and stuff in time, but to, you know, it's really good to see a new WarioWare game. I hope this game, it seems to be doing well. And this is something you want, you want to get this like, you know, at your parties, Christmas time, this is going to be an absolute blast. Like, 100% recommend that if you if you can get this, you should get it. Um, but if you, if you do get it, maybe think about having someone to play it with, because it's so much better like that. Especially in story mode, because if one of you messes up, you can blame that person for messing up and ruining your run. So, but yeah, there you go. There's my, my honest thoughts on um, WarioWare, Get It Together. It is a good, solid game. It is going to be much more of a party game than a single-player game in the long run. And if you are looking for something to have a laugh with some friends, I think this is a really good uh, game to pick up and play, and you will just have a laugh with it. So, yeah, go out and get this game. So that's going to do it for me today, then, guys. Bit of a shorter video today, but um, if you like the video, hit like. 
If you want to see more content like this, then hit subscribe. Links for Facebook and Twitter will be down below in the description as always. And until next video, I'll see you then.